You found the best in Michigan State sports coverage, SpartanMag.com. Subscribe today to SpartanMag.com and get 50% off the annual rate. That's just 15 cents per day. The 50% off deal is valid now until the Michigan game on October 30th. So don't go another day without SpartanMag.com's complete unmatched coverage and analysis of Michigan State football, basketball, and recruiting. No one takes you inside the program like SpartanMag.com's Jim Comperoni and Paul Konadike, whether it's on campus or around the country. Spartan Mag has covered 19 bowl games, 70 NCAA tournament games, and eight Final Fours. No one breaks it down like SpartanMag.com. We bring daily recruiting coverage to a loyal community of Michigan State fans at the Underground Bunker message board. Now is the time to get on board. Go to SpartanMag.com, look for the red breaking tab at the top of the page, and get started to get 50% off your subscription to SpartanMag.com, your source for Michigan State sports coverage and recruiting. You know, as the season goes on and, and you keep winning games, uh, the stakes get higher as the season goes on. So um, you got to do a good job managing, staying in the moment and just staying in the week-to-week process and staying in the, the daily uh, grind. You know, you, people say grind and sometimes they think that's a negative thing, but, you know, the positive version of grind. And, uh, you know, you just got to keep working and focus on the week at hand. And, uh, you know, if you focus on just that week, good things, good things usually happen. So don't get too concerned with the outside noise and, and keep focused in on, on what the main goal is. Uh, pretty much, I think he said it all. You know, you, gotta, you, you can't get complacent, uh, never get too high, never get too low. You got to always be where your feet are, as coaches always say. Uh, so always stay where you're at, you know, keep working and try to get 1% better every day. Uh, D1 program, they got ball players all over the place. Uh, a very good front four, you know, they got playmakers on the, on the back end. So, uh, you know, we just got to prepare for that stuff during the week and uh, we'll see what happens in the game. Uh, obviously, this game's like, you know, this game is a very important game, but uh, I think it's just, you know, every game is just as important to us, you know what I mean? So getting winning every game is very important to us you know what i'm saying comparing this year to last year is two completely different things so i mean you know things are different right now so and this game is different than last year so uh i think there's a different approach within the team on how we're going to uh, prepare for this game so um it's obviously <clears throat> it's fun to win any game but you know this game is very important and we're, we're approaching it different than we did last year so yeah, I would say that's uh, <clears throat> you know you don't you don't focus on it too too crazy much. Like it's not a you know it's not something that you put up on your wall at home as a sorry about that as a huge you know I don't know you know it's not it's not something that you go on the whole year. Obviously, you know about the game and you thank you and you and you you know how important it is and know how um, how much hype there is surrounding it. Like we've talked about, but. Uh, you know, it's not like it's a you're thinking about it 24/7 or anything like that. But you know, it is a huge game and it is a very important game for us. Big thing with me, I, I try my best, you know, to to block out all distractions, you know, stuff like that. I'm very superstitious. Like my week's got to be how I plan it in my head. You know what I'm saying? So certain stuff have to happen. Got to get all my schoolwork out of the way first, so I can focus on the game when it gets closer to the game. You know, stuff like that. So. That's kind of how I, I prepare for the game during the week. Uh, so that's, that's pretty much how it is for me. It's not too much. It's, you know, pretty basic for me, so. Yeah, I would say, um, you know, like he said, you kind of, you have to just go through the week um, and prepare like you always do, and then, and then some, you know? And you got to get ready uh, the same way you do other games. You can't all of a sudden completely flip how you get ready for a game or else that might you know, throw you off completely, but um, get ready for the game, study the film that you need to, take care of your body the best you can, and uh, you know, just go into the game and you gotta take it, it really is, you hear people say one play at a time, but it, it really is, you know, you can't get too concerned with the fourth quarter when you're taking your third snap of the game. You know, you can't think too far in the future, it's really, what do I need to do now to impact the game and to help my team be in the best, possession or best position to win at the end of the game, so, um, Really, just kind of, you know, take take the big picture and really narrow it down to small things, and and that makes it 
uh, a lot easier to focus on those things and get those things that need to get done done. What I like to do, I, I like to, I like to listen to you know a lot of the same music. I like to during the home games. I don't know one thing you guys might see like if you you can look out for my long socks. Like I have to wear my long socks on home games. Um, you know a lot of different things. Things I eat during a pregame meal. Uh, you know I don't like to eat too heavy, especially at a 12 o'clock game. You know what I'm saying? So uh, just little things like that, like that I have to do in order to you know feel you know the same way going into every game. I love pancakes, bacon, and eggs. I I do a light a light little breakfast with that, and then I, I have a little fruit on the side, and I'll have a glass of water, and that's it. Yep. The thing with me, I, I always follow my guys, you know, wherever they play, uh, whether it's Western guys, it's, you know, guys that play here and left. Uh, guys I came out of high school with, I always try to, you know, follow and support them. Uh, you know, I, I always, you know, we always hit each other up, you know, on social media when we see each other, post about our games or whatever, we always reach out and uh, make sure we're doing good. But it, it was good seeing him out there. He threw for like 320 yards or something like that. He, he had a day, so it was, it was good to see him out there and get the win and actually get to see him in person in a long time. It's been a while, so, yep.